Last week, we were in Charleston, South Carolina. This week, we're in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah is known for its architecture and rich history. The old pink house was built in 1789, once a bank in the 1800s, and now one of Savannah's finest restaurants. The architecture is amazing and even includes a private dining room, once a vault used to store gold bricks. Our dinners and desserts were delicious. River Street runs along the Savannah River with century-old buildings, once cotton warehouses converted to shops, galleries, pubs, hotels, and restaurants. Our hotel overlooked this area. After dinner, we went on a holiday sights tour with Old Town Trolley Tours. Our tour included a short stop at the Davenport House, an 1820 federal style dwelling with original, authentic features. We caught a glimpse of the Colonial Park Cemetery said to be haunted. Yikes! The next morning, we woke up to a loud horn outside. It was a huge container ship sailing through Savannah's port. Amazing. Factors Walk, named after the men who worked at the Cotton Exchange, they were called Factors. Savannah's Main Street, Broughton Street is packed with an eclectic mix of antique shops, thrift stores, and upscale boutiques. Capital B Company is known for its rare single varietal monofloral honeys. They offer samples and an education about their honey. The Marshall House is known to be the most haunted hotel in Savannah. The Paris Market is a design concept experience rather than just a store. It's a shop of intriguing, unforgettable treasures inspired by the charming open-air markets of France. This was our favorite shop. Established in 1919, Leopold's is a southern fixture many enjoy. Savannah Bee Company is another very nice shop to sample flavors of honey. City Market has been an open-air market since the 1700s. Bird's Famous Cookies has been in business since 1924. We purchased a cutout cookie kit for our Christmas cookies. First African Baptist Church is the oldest black church in North America organized in 1773. There are 22 squares and parks in Savannah, and they are the community's most beloved icons. Oak trees dominate the landscape. We enjoyed Savannah. 
Next time, we may need to explore all the haunted locations. Well, maybe not.